how you doing? My name is Andrew Westberg once again. How you doing? And this video is for members only. Alright. It will be going public in just a few days. But I hope you enjoy it, alright? So what's been going on over there in the Gaza Strip? A lot of tumult. Tumultuous times. You know the word Gaza is found in the Bible. We read about that. Interesting. I'm not trying to be anti-Semitic. I use anti-Semitism. That's not what I'm doing at all. In fact, I have a heart for the Jews. I would like to take the time to look up a scripture for you, to reason with you on the way Jehovah currently sees the Jews or the Israelites based on former times. If we go to the book of Hosea, it's on page 1231, 1231 of the 2013 revision of the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. You can see the front cover here. New World Translation of the Holy Scripture. You can see the binding. And feel free to look up what other versions of the Bible say. I may not be reading from them, but feel free to look up what it says in the King James Version, New Living Translation, or any version you may prefer. All right. So Hosea chapter 4, verses 6 and 8. It says, my people will be silenced because there is no knowledge, because you have rejected knowledge. I will also reject you from serving as my priest, and because you have forgotten the law of your God, I myself will forget your sons. And then it says in verse 8, They feed on the sin of my people, and they are greedy for their error. So, what does it say in Hosea, chapter 1, verse 10, page 12, 28? It says, And the number of the people of Israel will be like the grains of sand of the sea, which cannot be measured or numbered. And in the place where it was said to them, You are not my people. It will be said to them, the sons of the living God. All right. So, what other verse is similar to this one in Hosea 1 verse 10? Well, excuse me. <coughs> yep. Sorry about that. Something in the air. All right. If we go to Romans. Romans chapter 9. Romans chapter 9, verses 25 and 26. All right. On page 1517, it says, It is not as he says also in Hosea, those not my people I will call my people. And her who was not loved, beloved. And in the place where it was said to them, You are not my people, there they will be called sons of the living God. All right. So, what about Romans 9, verse 6? It says, However, it is not as though the word of God has failed, for not all who descend from Israel are really Israel. What does that mean? All those who descend from Israel are not really from Israel, as it puts in some versions of the Bible. Well, there's a difference between physical Israel and spiritual Israel. If you look at Numbers chapter 1, verses 4 through 8, you'll see a list of the physical tribes of Israel for the Jews. If you look at Revelation chapter 7, I believe. Or you can look at chapter 14 as well. Let me give you a list of the spiritual tribes of Israel. 
All of them are the same except for one. I believe it's the tribe of Levi. That's how you can tell the difference between the physical tribes of Israel and the spiritual tribes of Israel. So, all those descend from Israel aren't really from Israel. That's what that means. So what would you say about this being anti-Semitic? Well, we're not being anti-Semitic. So if we go to Galatians, there's a reason for this. Just bear with me. Galatians chapter 3. Alright, so Galatians chapter 3 verses 24 and 25 on page 1560, it says, So the law became our guardian leading to Christ, so that we might be declared righteous through faith. But now that faith has arrived, we are no longer under a guardian. In other words, we are no longer under the Mosaic law. Verses 28 and 29, it says, There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor freeman, there is neither male nor female, for you are all one in union with Christ Jesus. Moreover, if you belong to Christ, you are really Abraham's offspring, heirs with reference to a promise. So there was a big debate going on back there in those days between circumcision and and uncircumcision. The Jews believed you had to be circumcised at birth or later on in life. The Christian Greeks, as they say, believed in uncircumcision. So there was a hot debate there. So what matters is if we're circumcised at heart. All right. Romans 2, verse 29. What matters is if we're pure in heart. So while the modern Jews have been rejected by Jehovah, and there is a replacement of the Jews known as the Christian. There's no need to treat the Jews with disrespect. There's no need to look down at those who are the Jews. There's no need for that. We can all get along. All right. So let me see if I can find something else here. I think this is Jeremiah. Let me start with something. Jeremiah chapter 18. Uh -huh. Jeremiah 18, verse 17, and page 1062. Like the east wind, I will scatter them before the enemy. I will show them my back, not my face, in the day of their disaster. So how many times have you said, or have you heard people say that the Jews can't trace their heritage back to the original Jews back in Bible times? There's a reason for that. The lineage or the genealogy can't be traced because Jehovah scattered them. Whatever modern Jew there are now can't be linked back to the original genealogy because Jehovah made sure purposely that they were scattered over the earth. Right. But you know, true Christians are united. Not to say that people don't want true unity. Not to say that the Jews don't want unity. I can understand that. There's a big similarity between the Jews and the Christians. I'll give you that that much. However, there's still a dividing line there between Jews and Christians. There's still a difference there. One is a bridge to the other. Jesus Christ is the bridge from the Mosaic Law over to the New Covenant or the New Law, which is Christianity. Okay? Not to be offensive, not to cause an insult. That's not what I'm trying to do. That's not what I'm here for. But I hope you enjoyed this, 
And I hope that we continue to be Jehovah's people, God's people, you know, whatever you want to think his name is. But I truly believe his name is Jehovah. So take care. Have a great day. And we'll move on from there, all right? Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Thank you.